Alright guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Defect. This is now episode 6! Yes, you all thought I was going to turn my back and walk away from this game because it's hard. It's really, really hard! <laughs> ah, but I- No! 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 I refuse to stop playing! No matter how much you guys tell me that I'm terrible, I refuse to stop playing. And that's what I call perseverance or blatant stupidity. I haven't figured out which yet, but either way, we are moving forward. <laughs> Actually, nobody's saying that I'm playing terrible, actually. It's actually kind of funny. Um, and I actually want to know what you guys think. Do you guys, are you guys enjoying this playthrough? I mean, we're getting good views. I mean, I'm getting good views on the, on the, on the, on the videos, but I mean, we're not getting a lot of likes and, but I don't know. I'm enjoying the play. I'm, I'm probably terrible, but I don't care. You know what? Sometimes terrible play is actually, it's not even terrible play. It's, it's, I'm learning as I go. I could do a whole bunch of practice and be really good at this, but then... Would we really learn anything? Well, I wouldn't. Well, you might, but no, nobody's gonna learn anything anyway, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, let's just play some Defect. <laughs> so, as, as, uh, in continuing on with the current theme of the game, we're going the opposite direction of where we're supposed to go. Because I think we're supposed to be going towards the Scrap King, which I believe is, you know, sort of the campaign missions, whatever. But, you know what? I, I'm, I'm a rebel, what can I say? So I'm thinking we're gonna go, uh, left instead of right again. And we're gonna keep going this way, because I want to know what these, these, these locked areas are. Like, what is that? What is that? What is that all about? Does that mean, actually, that might mean that these are, because this is still an early access game, that might mean that these are not actually finished yet. So, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Either way, it's probably too hard for me. Anyway, so let's let's go this way, and let's see, what do we got here? So we've got a mission called Stash, and let's read it. Uh, we're getting a garbled message from out in the asteroid lair. Some guy demanding we send our fastest ship. It doesn't sound like a distress call. Actually, I don't, I don't think his voice would be like that. I think it would be like... We're getting a garbled... No, I don't know. I don't even know. Uh, it doesn't sound like a distress call. Okay, so, object objective, we can win a thousand bucks. If we destroy the defectors, we get 945. So, I actually... It, there's it, We couldn't finish a mission unless we destroyed the defector, right? Because I'm looking here, too, as well. It says, bonus two. There's a bonus if we finish the mission with no guns. But how could we finish with no guns if we... Unless we don't destroy the defector. So, I don't know. Is there a way to destroy the defector without guns? Maybe in this mission there's, like, turrets or something? I don't know. I have no idea. That's the wonderful thing about playing this blindly on YouTube is I'm probably going to get hooped somewhere along the way here. And I don't know where that's going to be. So, but anyway, I don't know. Should we put a gun in our ship? I don't know. Let's let's just build a, build a ship. What do you think? <laughs> okay. How about we start this one together? Let's try... Okay, so, yeah, we need to build a fast ship, right? Hold on, let's... <laughs> hold on, discard. I just want to go back here. So, yeah, we need to build a... Uh, demanding we set our fastest ship. And we don't need guns? Somehow we can finish a mission without having guns? I, I'm not feeling confident in that, but I don't know. Let's 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 build a ship and then I don't know we'll we'll see how we feel as we build this like we could be I mean it's probably gonna take us a couple times anyway let's go with our oh maybe we could try out the yellow standard core so one of the advantages to what we've been doing with the last few missions even though it's it's been really hard um I saved a lot of money on the last ship so we actually got tons of scrap just lying around which is great and I'd like to kind of maintain that. Um, I'd like to get those bonuses and everything, but I, I'm more worried about actually finishing the mission. And to be honest with you, if we get a thousand, a thousand bucks for not destroying the enemy, but it costs us how much to put a gun on our ship. Like, for example, oh, mine launcher. Does mine launcher count as a gun? Because if a mine launcher doesn't count as a gun, we could destroy our friendly and make potentially 2,000 because we get uh, 900 and something for destroying the friendly, def or the, sorry, the, not, not a friendly, destroying the defector, and we get 1,000 for not using a gun, and if mine launcher isn't a gun, although it probably counts as a gun, so I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Let's let's just build a ship together. We never build ships together anymore. I think we need to build a ship. So, uh, I don't know. I think we'll do like a bug ship. Yeah, very bug-like. Um... Uh, now, uh, we don't get a lot of crew for that, so I think we'll double up. So th this is my mindset when I'm building a ship. I'm like, what's going to look good? <laughs> and it's probably the worst thing to do when you're building a ship is, you know, in this game, because every part matters, right? All of these parts that I'm putting on the ship, they matter. They're just not cosmetics. So I don't know. It's probably the worst way to build a ship, but basically we want a fast ship. So we've got some crew on there. Let's see what we can do for engines. Now, what's the fastest engine? So we've got the 500 credit engine. This is a TS medium engine. It gives us 100 thrust, 20 steering, uh, minus 20 stability. It's slow response time, 2 mass, 2 armor, so it's fairly light. 
It's actually, but it, it has no armor at all. Uh, crew 2, so low crew, hardly any crew, even compared to this one, like no crew at all. And lo lots of thrust, but not as much thrust as the tri-stage big engine, so why wouldn't I use that? Oh, stability. So, yeah, the tri-stage big big engine, even though it has 150 thrust, it, it gives us minus 200 stability. But, I don't know, it's, I, I, I like that. <laughs> it's fast. We want something really super fast, because I have a feeling we're going to be racing through hoops or something. <laughs> We've all played games where we have to race through hoops, and we know how miserably awful that can be. But I don't know. I I kind of I you know I'm I'm enjoying the way that this game is torturing me. <laughs> I don't get I don't torture myself enough with games like this. I think that's what the issue is. Um, so these wings, if I remember correctly, they give us a hundred stability. That's awesome. Or we can use these little stick things, but they're not they don't look very good. They give us five steering and a hundred stability and two armor too. Uh, these give us five armor. Um, but they are heavier, yes, they are heavier, and require, no, same power and crew, but uh, 15 steering, so way better steering, and I think steering is probably going to be important. I'm assuming we're racing something, so, yeah, or chasing, chasing something, or racing something, or flying through hoops, or something, insert, insert, uh, you know, <laughs> who knows, I don't know. Whatever. Um, so we could do kind of that bug-like look. What do you think? Like the two sets of wings, the small, uh, large wings and small wings, that would clear our stability to zero. Uh, you know what? Let's let's make it fancy, fancy schmancy. So let's let's actually turn the wings. Let's do like an F-14. Oh yeah, like so the F-14 has like the two, has the big, the big main wings, and they're kind of turned a little bit, and then it has the other wings that are kind of turned a little bit as well. I don't know if they turn them a little, yeah, a little bit more like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it looks dumb because we haven't actually fixed where the uh, wings are going to go here. Hold on. Let's move this back. Let's move this back. Maybe even make this a little bit bigger. And we're going to put that on top of the wings. We never build ships together. I always fast forward through it. But, and I know, you know, some of you really like that. But every once in a while, we just, we got to do something together, right? Otherwise, <laughs> really, I mean, it's a building game. I mean, really, this is a building game. I mean, it's action too as well, which is weird. I don't play a lot of action games. I suppose you could say reassembly is an action game, but... I don't know. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Hey, that looks that looks okay. I think the wings need to be bigger though, because we made we made the uh, yeah. Whoops. Uh, yeah, because yeah, because yeah. Why not? I, I think I think we just need to make it bigger. I, I'm finding a lot of times I'm making little tiny ships, which is okay, I guess. But oh, hey, that looks all right. I'm thinking. I see. I think I think we made. How much room do we have to work with here? Oh, we've got tons of room. Why are we, like, cramping it all in here? Let's make this, like, nice and big. And we'll do the same with this thing. I think we'll just put this in the back. The reason I added the second cockpit is, well, just to kind of contrast so that it, it isn't, like, this just this just empty space here. So something to kind of go over top of that to make it look good. Besides, that gives us the extra crew, which I think we're going to need anyway. And make these wings quite a bit bigger. Oh, we could do, like, little tail fins. Oh, that would look really cool. Or just, uh... Yeah, that looks a little bit more plane-like, doesn't it? I don't know if I want that. I want it to look more kind of bug-like. I think bug-like is the way we, we need to go here with this. Uh, we could do the... I think in an F-14, aren't the front wings straight? I think they... Well, they can retract, right? They can they can actually change their position depending on whether they are uh, trying to uh, adjust them for maneuverability or speed. If I if I if I remember correctly with an F-14, it's I, do they even use F-14s anymore? I think it's all like F-18s or whatever. Even though this is in space, what do you need wings for anyway? I don't know. It's all yeah, you know what I'm saying. All right, and then uh, we want these big engines. Now, do we want them really big? Because this is a fast ship, uh, that looks absolutely ridiculous. No, so we're we're gonna we're gonna bring it bring it down a little bit, and maybe I like them on top because they've kind of got that that thing on the top that kind of. Yeah, it covers the ship a little bit like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like it. It looks kind of bug-like. And we are falling well within the range here. We could theoretically put a gun on the ship. Do we put a gun on the ship? If we put a gun on the ship, we instantly lose that thousand bucks. But how do we destroy the enemy? How do we destroy the how do we destroy our old defectors um without without guns on our ship? I, unless we do the mine layer. But then Yeah, if we do the mine layer on the ship, yeah, I don't know. Uh, one sec. Yeah, another thing that's bothering, these engines don't really fit the bug look, but I, there really isn't much else option. I mean, what else looks kind of bug-like? I mean, this looks bug-like, but we need lots of thrust. Like, there's nothing else here that even compares to that. Eventually, we might be able to open up some, some really cool-looking engines, uh, but yeah, we have to settle for this right now. I mean, 
But, you know, it is it is the fastest one. Okay, so I've kind of... I had to stop and think there. I think we're going to put a gun on the ship, but we're going to... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Should we... We could put the mine layer on there. Yeah, it's crew 10. Uh, do we... How, can we convert uh, power to crew? Uh, if I remember correctly, we can convert power to crew, but I don't remember how to do it. No, we can... Cr cr Convert crew to power. My bad. Yeah, it's not. You don't throw people into a big engine and it converts them to power. It's uh, it's not quite that simple. Um, but yeah, basically, a uh, crew mans uh, another vent or whatever, an intake, and of course, it produces more power for the ship. But yeah, I don't think there's a way to do it the other way around. We could put a shield on the ship, but again, I don't know if that's really worthwhile. With I'm not afraid of our defector, our defector ship, because. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't that uh, tough if I remember correctly. It was we actually we were really cheap on that one, like super cheap. So what? Well, I don't know. We'll just put a straight up gun on it. Yeah, what do you think, guys? Yeah, just a plain old gun. We have up to five crew to mess with, and we could do a laser. We could do uh, yeah. We always we always use that gun. We could do a missile launcher. Ah, uh, it seems a little too fancy schmancy for what we want to do here. And I want to go cheap, so let's go super cheap and go like under fifty bucks. Oh, let's just do a basic turret. What do you think? We could do a couple turrets. Uh, how much that? Wow, that really slows them down. Look at that. Yeah, our top speed is 50. If we put these, because these turrets are mass of five, if we put two turrets on it, it brings our top speed down to 32. Unacceptable. Totally unacceptable. What about this guy? Mass three. This guy, these, these are both mass three. What's the lightest? Ah, uh, the tri-stage bolt gun is uh uses 10 power which we can do and 36 range yeah it's i think we've used this one before we'll just do one of them though uh <laughs> i i or should we just do two i don't know they look better it would two would look better wouldn't it uh let's see how much it affects our top speed so when we put this on top speed goes down to 41 yeah unacceptable we'll just do one 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 gun <laughs> Living on the edge here. One little gun right in the front there. There we go. Done deal. And we're going to bring that down so it looks nice. And yeah, it's kind of our little our little bug cruiser. So what do we got? We gotta pick a name now. So uh Nasty Vortex. No. It has to be God's Puncher. I wish we could name our own ship, but you know, we gotta we gotta pick one. So sometimes it's kind of fun. Octo G, no. Minor Voyager, Unexpected Connell, no. Moon Gap. Offline trigger. Ah, hunting derp. Executive remix. What? Void bag. Something that says fast. Imminent interceptor. Not bad. Uh, fat tie. Fat tie. Imminent hodgman. Oh, come on. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to have to fast forward until we find a name. <laughs> Tactical accident. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I, I'm sorry. This is the uh, HM85 tactical accident. <laughs> Saving. Whoops. No, didn't mean to do that. Uh, resume. We meant to save. There we go. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me for the build. That's that's something we don't do very often. All right, so done and away we go. And I figured uh, we're probably going to have to do the mission a couple times. I don't know. So let's see. And launch. All right, we can do this. HM85, tactical accident reporting for duty. Oh, race me. Oh, Stash. Oh, that's the name of the ship. Stash. Okay, I'm following him. Uh, let's open up our console. There we go. We've got our engines up. Uh, do, was I supposed to stop here? Nope, apparently not. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> okay, activate engines. I guess we've got to go through the hoops. What did I say about hoops? I mean, they're not hoops. It's waypoints. Oh, I'm assuming that if I hit that asteroid at high speed, we're toast. He is way faster. Uh oh. Oh, there's goodies. Oh, man. Oh, well. <laughs> I think there was a bonus if we collected all the goodies, too. But I, and I thought about putting, um, what do you, what you call it? A, uh, oh. Oh. <gasps> Careful. Ah, we can do this. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Although he's still along right with us, eh? Man, he is he is pretty fast. Hey, the waypoints actually tell us which direction we have to go. Uh, this might be a bad choice. Might be a bad choice. Oh no, here we go. Oh no. No, there's no way. We're no we're not gonna Ah! Cause how yeah, I should have gone the same way, the way that he went. He went sort of the way that was uh, following the path of inertia, which would have been perfect, but uh, yeah, I didn't do that. I went the other way. <laughs> oh, no, 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 we can do this, we can do this. Oh, so close, so close. Oh! Okay. What do you mean? I'm victorious. Next time, bring a real ship. Bite me. I wonder, could I have just shot him? <laughs> uh, okay, good to know. So that was try one. Actually, I did, I think I did pretty well for try one. I didn't hit an asteroid. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> But if this gets out of control, of course, I will, uh, 
do some cuts for you. <laughs> Like last time. Um, I didn't want to tell you, but yeah, I kind of had way more cuts than you guys actually saw last time. It was it was very embarrassing. Oh, engines, turn those on right away. Ah, there we go. You know, I'm almost thinking the ship needs to be a little bit faster, but I'm worried that... <laughs> okay, you're no good to us without a ship. Let's try that again. Ah. Uh... Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. If, if the ship's too fast, then I'm not going to be able to control it that easily. Although, yeah, as long as I have good stability, it'd be okay. But then, how would I make it faster? I'd have to add more engines. And uh, that would mean I'd have to spend more money, and I'm so cheap! I don't want to spend more money. Okay, go! <laughs> I don't even know if I need to cross that initial starting point. Oh, look at this. We're off to a good start. Good start. Yes! Oh, dun 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 We can do it! Round the asteroid. Round the asteroid. Perfect, perfect. I kind of know where to go now, kind of, and follow the waypoints, uh, you know, go exactly where it tells you to go because I think that that makes a difference, right? Follow that path of inertia, which is key. Oh, I missed the goodies, but that's okay. Oh, this is a tricky one, tricky one. Kind of slow down a little bit, break a little bit. There we go, nice. We are actually in the lead, folks. Look at this. <gasps> Could I actually win this? Uh, just don't hit an asteroid, don't hit an asteroid. Oh, I went the wrong way this time, again. Same thing I did last time. Which means I'm going to have to turn around when I get to this. Ah, shoot. Look, he's catching up. That's not good. Not good. Go, go, go. No, don't. Oh, oh man. I was doing so well. I just, I went the wrong way there again. Uh, not doing bad. For considering, considering this is only my second try, not bad. We're so close. We can do this. Yes. Yes. Wow. Impossible. Impossible. I cannot be beaten. This ship something or other. He's very angry. Let's just summarize it as I am very angry. Don't ever do that again. Ah! Mutineers! They were waiting for us. Ah! Hey, remember remember the one-eyed dude? Yeah, that has uh, uh he has a few guns in the front. I but he's pretty I don't think he's gonna be that difficult to beat. Um let's activate our gun. Uh yeah. <laughs> the, this might be a problem actually. We only have the one gun. How would you beat him? How, okay, I need to know. Maybe the developers can, you know, leave a comment below and let me know how I was supposed to beat this mission without putting a gun on my ship. Like, how do you beat? I mean, unless I maybe convince my my old defectors to fly into... Oh, man. I think, yeah, he's using the same guns. That's right. Ah! Okay, so I have to actually outmaneuver him. Wow, okay. And I believe that he had... Uh, I don't think he's got... Oh, he's got that... Does He does have a centerpiece of armor. So maybe I should have taken, like, a tracking weapon. That might have been a better choice. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe, maybe luring him into the asteroid field might not be... Uh-oh. I can't, I, can't, I can't actually maneuver my ship anymore. When I turn, I can only turn left. I am like Zoolander. I can only turn left. <laughs> no! <laughs> Ah, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, I need... I should have collected some of that money. Okay, uh, fire. Please hit, please hit. Ah, see, I can't turn it all now. Oh, no, I can. Oh, no, I'm actually out of control. Uh, can I turn? I'm s sort of turning. I, I can't really... Come on, no. Uh, believe it or not, guys, I, I'm actually trying to turn... Actually, the damage model is pretty good here in the sense that, you know, when certain parts get... Yeah, that's it. Oh, man! <laughs> that was so close. Um, it's really unfortunate that you can't actually see the ships from this distance. Uh, you know, having, you know, the UIs, I don't mind the UI at a range. I mean, I get it. You've got to have something. To, but really, what are we looking at here? We're looking at very little. Like, graphically speaking, I can't even see my own ship. I want to be able to see my ship when I'm flying it. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense to anybody. But uh, even at this range, at all the way far out, I want to be able to see... The, the ships, uh, rather than just uh, bright lights. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to uh, keep playing, <laughs> and then when I get back to that point, actually, you know what? We're get, let's modify the ship. We need to add a weapon that makes sense. So let's do that. Uh, let's because we know we can beat the race. That actually wasn't so bad. Let's remove. Uh, pardon me. Let's remove this gun, and let's add a tracking weapon of some sort, like one, either one tri-stage turrets. Ah, I'd prefer a missile. Because, really, what is he going to do? It's a little bit more expensive, but that's okay. We do have lots of money, so let's just throw a missile on there, and that should pretty much take care of him. <laughs> Even one missile launcher. Actually, 
uh, maybe we should do a butt firing missile because butt firing missiles are always more fun and pleasurable. Don't even go there. All right, <laughs> let's let's save this and move on with our life. Okay, here we go. I and I I will fast forward until I get to the point. Win or lose, I will fast forward until I get to the point where I'm fighting our defectors. Okay, away we go. Did you see that? Oh no, never mind, I lost. Okay, that was close though. Whoops. Balls. And yes. I'm gonna collect the goodies right here and impossible. It is possible, my friend. And I'm going to fight my friendly ship. Or not friendly, the mutineers. I keep calling it friendly ship, but our blast ship. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna nuke him this time. We're gonna use our missiles. Missiles. I'm done ready. Now they don't track well, but they do track. So I think we just need to slow down and let him just come to us. <laughs> we have him now. Oh, that was close. And if he starts to get too close, we just uh, we just leave because uh, just a little off. They don't track well. That's the thing. But they, it's just enough. Honestly, the missiles are really good in this game. I, I really like the missiles. I mean, I would love to do the mine launcher, but it's really expensive. Like, it's... I think it's drastically overpriced. Uh-oh. Uh Get a little close. He's got the... You know, and now, you know, as long as I don't overdo it with weapons on the ships, like, it does make the next mission substantially easier. There was that one mission where I think I kind of went a little overboard. Um, is he stuck? He's... I don't think he's moving anymore. Aha! Aha! There we go. Done deal! And that's it! We've done it, guys. Another single mission. Yes, I know you're coming in here maybe expecting more than one mission, but <laughs> really, uh, it takes it takes a long time to, to master each mission. And uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with the ship. And it won't be that hard to beat, except it is very fast. So we have to think about that then. we For the next mission, we have to think of weapons that will be, uh, or a ship that will be able to keep up with that ship and of course hit it hard i'm thinking like the chain guns or something uh we're taking the ship blah blah, blah. they need to think of new things to say so we have earned ourselves a tri-stage absorber a flash booster and a fast crew oh wild hold on this tri-stage the flash booster is a standard scale engine component. So when this, with this standard scale, I'm assuming that there's like a capital ship type scale, so extra large, etc. So anything standard scale would be for a regular ship. But I'm assuming later on, at some point, we're gonna get larger scale components, which I'm really excited about. Okay, so we've got our standard scale flash booster, which is an engine component. Oh, thrust 200! <gasps> Guess what? Our next ship is getting a 200 thrust. And it's only minus 150. Oh, that's actually minus 150 uh, stability. Steering one, response slow, mass three, armor three, power minus 20, crew minus three, and a tri-stage impa impact absorber, which is a just a piece of armor. Each impact absorber you add to your ship will neutralize 10 points of damage from any collision with asteroids and and obstacles. Warning, <laughs> doesn't work yet. <laughs> I don't know if that's intentional or not, but it's kind of funny. Warning, part does not work. Okay, and this one, uh, 2255 fast crew standard scale crew component. It is a crew module. It's a cockpit, very, very sleek, sexy looking cockpit. Increases your ship's ability just by looking, looking like it should increase your ship's ability. It's a new branch of super science, but it's yielding promising results. And then uh, tomorrow, or the, sorry, the next episode, we have uh, shock armor coming up. So anyway, very cool. So we destroyed the factory. We got 945, objective, objective uh, 1000, and we collected 40 bucks. Big deal. We didn't make a huge amount of money, but we moved forward in defect. And uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, it didn't take me all night today. I mean, it still took a while, but it 
it didn't take all late. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this last episode of Defect. And if you want to see more Defect, let me know, please, in the comments below. And I know, you know, I mean, it's kind of weird for me to be asking this at the end of an episode as well. But because, you know, for those of you that watched this episode, you probably enjoyed it. I mean, you stuck around this long. So you're probably going to say, hey, do some more. But you know what? If, if, for, if you think that maybe I should be moving on to something else, let me know too. Because, you know, I want to be uh, doing things that you guys are enjoying. Although... I, I, I'm probably going to do a few more episodes of this anyway, because I actually really like it, and I don't care what other people say. But on the other side of it, I still want to keep you guys happy too as well. So let me know anyway, guys. Uh, anyway, take care, and have an awesome Tuesday.